Rachel Green's office. Give me the phone. Hello, this is Rachel Green. How can I help you? Why did you invite him? I can't stand it. A few moments later. Get stand that guy. You're just being so nice to him. Hey guys, what's up? Nick here. So um we're actually looking for a different TV option um, for upgrade at our house. So previously we were using a Xiaomi P1 55 inch TV and we thought we want something a little bit bigger like 65 or 75 inch. Um, so we looked online and we managed to found Hisense. Alright, so let me give you a quick introduction of Hisense. Hisense is a famous uh, international brand. In fact, they are the top 3 uh, manufacturer of TV brand. They are the official sponsor for FIFA 2022. So, FIFA fan out there, this TV is definitely optimized for FIFA. Okay, without further ado, let me get into the future. So to start it off, let me get the number out of the way. Hisense is top ranked globally and this model U8H is their 2022 new product launch. Um, this TV is built with ULED Mini LED Pro. It can attain 1200 nit peak brightness. 120Hz native refresh rate. Gaming on PS5 with this TV will provide you with a lag free experience. And it comes with a full array local dimming pro with an IMAX enhanced Dolby Vision will be at most HDR10+. It also comes with Game Pro mode and HDMI 2.1 eARC connectivity. And the one you are having in front of me, the model is U8H 65-inch 4K ULED Mini LED Pro Smart TV. That is a lot of a lot of TV in one TV. So what I've just mentioned is a lot of specification, a lot of numbers. Uh, why not we bring it to the test? Uh, in fact, right now, the, um, we purposely filmed this during sunset for our home apartment. Full sun is shining in at this moment. You can see there's some sun right at the wall. Um, the TV is performing really, really bright. Um, you can see that the color is really vibrant. Um, Everything looks very nice. Let us try going to Netflix and I'll show you a clip. So like I mentioned, it support HD uh, 5.1. So you can, before we even go into the show, you can actually take a look at this image over here. The red is really vibrant. Um, it's very true. Uh, and the black on the screen is really, really black. See over here, you can tell the image is really, really sharp. Like the character is right in front of you and it also do black very well you can take a look over here at the dark scene so can you see um, the black is properly black the person is not too discolorated everything looks very vibrant in the image itself and um, with 120 hertz refresh rate obviously this is not going to lag 
everything is going to run very smoothly. So something unique about this DB is not running Android uh, like other DB is. It's actually running their user interface Vida U6. So this is like uh, their uh, interface. Um, and after using it for a while right now, uh, it is in fact very convenient and uh, very user friendly. So you can see that the homepage is a little bit different. Uh, the way they lay out everything is a little bit different. Um, you can actually go in and go into each of them, right? They will give you some recommendation. There's music. Um, so um, kind of like a um, summarized home screen. It makes searching thing really easy. And like any other TV feature, it does come with pre-installed application, Netflix, Disney+, Plus, YouTube, uh, ITE, if you guys are familiar, this is quite a rare one. Um, of course, we have like um, Sports Channel, um, NFL, Red Bull, NBA, etc. One of the features that I think works really, really well is um, previously our MeTV is just one account user. Um, but Vida, they actually allow you to add multiple users so that you can set up according to your preference. So let's say if I were to go in and I want to add YJ as one of the profile. So maybe let's give her a strawberry, right? You can key in your name. And then they will ask you to customize according to what you prefer. So for example, for um, YJ, she prefer thriller, um, a little bit of comedy, and maybe music, right? Right now, once I click confirm, you can see that the recommendation is going to be according to her feature, what she like. And the more she watch it, the more she edit, uh, I believe the algorithm will also suggest more video. So this is quite uh, useful because not everyone have the same cup of tea watching the same show um watching the same genre so like i like to watch anime uh she occasionally like to watch korean and thriller I, so this make it very very functional so i can just go in select my portfolio and tada done oh and yes before i forget um ulid mini led uh this means that it's actually 50 times smaller than the actual size of the LED. so that makes uh, I, I guess that probably allows the image to be really, really crispy, really, really clear, and really, really bright. So in addition to all the um, pre-installed app that you can use, um, as usual, like normal TV, you will be able to go into input and um, connect for up to four HDMI cable, um, or as well as sharing content directly from your phone. And I'm going to share with you one nifty feature very, very shortly. but. Let us talk about the controller first. So uh, if you take a look at this controller, uh, this is actually a Bluetooth connected controller. It provides a lot of function. Uh, compare this with Mi TV controller and you will find that there's a lot more function, more buttons on Hisense. Uh, a lot of quick function that you can go to Netflix, YouTube. This doesn't have YouTube. There's a lot more additional one. Just take a look at yourself and you can make the comparison. So I was saying about the nifty function, right? You can use this controller and control the TV, but even better, download the app, right? Once you have this app, uh, it's a Vida app, you will be able to use this to actually control your TV. That's a really, really nice feature. So everyone in your family, so long as they have the app, they can control your TV. Um, from using their own mobile phone. So if let's say this controller, you happen to leave it on the desk, right? You only have your mobile phone. I'm sure everyone have their mobile phone with them all the time. Um, you will be able to just use this mobile phone and control the TV. And there's no lag, no lag at all. It's really, really nice, right? And if let's say you don't want to use the usual control function, it even have quick function that allow you to directly go into the application accordingly. So let's say we go on the home and see right here, all the pre-installed app is available for usage. So you want to go to Netflix, you just click Netflix. Can you see how fast that is? And, um, for example, if let's say I'm at Netflix and I'm using the controller, 
Now I want to go back and I want to search for something. Okay, instead of clicking one by one, etc., you are given an option to select keyboard, input text, and search maybe stranger thing. Look at how fast that is. This is really, really convenient. Um, most of us have a smart TV that act like a computer in a way. Um, but you have to install, like you need to get an extra keyboard, extra mouse to really make things work really easy. And Hisense really solved this problem for us. By giving us an application, it allows us to just write from here, type from your phone. I mean, that's really, really good. Uh, once you have selected, you can go back to the controller again. It's very really easy. Control volume, right? It's all here. Talking about the volume, guys, you have to hear this. Let me, let me just put it at maybe level 20. So to give you an idea, um, we usually watch TV on our Mi TV at 45. Mi TV itself is not very loud. 45 is, um, let's say, reasonable volume. It doesn't, uh, from our room, you can't hear it. Um, from the outside, definitely not. It's, it's just nice. But Hisense, they have really nice speaker. It's a 2 times 10 watt uh, stereo speaker with Adobe Atmos. So let me just play uh, any show for you and you will be able to hear how does it sound like. See how that sounds? This is for a clear crystal audio. So they play um, music really well as well. You can hear it here. sound very nice um i hope i can you guys can hear what i'm hearing um the music is clear um there's some bass there and although they have it there isn't a subwoofer but it, it sounds pretty really nice um it's not distorted it's not too loud the the the, the speaker is not making any weird noise if if you get what i mean and because the sound is really really good high send actually allowed you to use their speaker and connect to your phone directly. So you go on the network, go on the Bluetooth, and you can see TV speaker. So now they'll ask you to connect your phone to the TV. So now I'm going to the Bluetooth to connect to the TV. So now you can see living room TV is connected. So now if you go into Spotify, and let's say select a song. It will play on the TV. So you can turn off the screen as well. Leave her, Johnny, leave her. She should... So you can see um, you can off the TV, but the music is still playing. And talking about playing song from your phone, um, using the Vida app, you can actually go under from the first page, go under media, and you see that you can actually play it directly from your phone, whether it's music, you want to see a photo, or want to see a video. So for example, if let's say someone come and you want to show your family members a recent clip that you took overseas, so just go into your, connect it, select the video, and cast it on the screen. So you will see it's loading up. Really, really nice.
by the way you see some uh, image that's distorted that is the video itself not the tv just to clarify yeah by the way this is when we were on a road trip before covid hits us or uh, if you guys write it was really really fun for us yeah so basically that is um, most of the feature of the TV. Of course, there's a lot more feature, um, but those features are like things that you would expect from a TV, being able to play uh, Netflix or like, you know, Disney, watching YouTube, um, all this is to be expected. Um, there's only one tiny, tiny thing that um, you may say, I might not like it. It might work for other people, right? Uh, because my house, our house is run using Google Home. So the because this is not run under Android, you can actually can't connect it to your Google Home as one of the accessory. Uh, but nevertheless, like I showed before, you can actually use their Vida app, which will provide you with a, a lot more functionality. Um, I think this TV will really work for you if let's say you are you don't have like exactly a home system. Uh, you just want a TV that can do it all. Uh, with really clear image, very nice color, very good sound. Uh, I think this is the one for you. It's going to be very suitable for your requirement. Um, yeah, so that's about it for everything about this TV. Um, the verdict is, it is a good TV. Um, it is very functional The the in terms of the pricing, in terms of what you get out of the box. Um, it's all really, really good. So I understand right now they are having sort of some sort of promotion ongoing, um, but I would still advise you to actually not take my word for it. Go to the website, take a look. Um, you can find the information more on their website. Their website will be hisen.sg. Um, hisen is spelled as H-I-S-E-N-S-E dot -S -E S-G, right? Um, or contact their staff uh, through their Instagram page or through their web page. I believe they will be more than happy to explain to you or give you more idea or provide you with more information regarding this TV. So, at the end of the day, is this a will buy or will not buy or find out more? Um, I would say it's siding towards uh, will buy or find out more um, because this, this TV does provide a lot of features. Uh, Hizen is a recommended and a well-known brand. Um, so do your own research. Research like this video right here you are watching. <laughs> yeah. So find out what other people hear about this TV and make your own decision to find out whether it's suitable for your own home. Um, but at least for now, this is a 65-inch TV. It's much bigger. I'm going to have a better viewing experience and that's good for me. Alright, thank you for staying till the end of this review. Uh, we have not spoken with you guys a while. Um, hope our content is still going to be relevant for you. Um, but yeah, um, as usual, if you like this video, do give us a thumbs up. Um, if you like our channel, do remember to subscribe to us. It helps us a lot and uh, encourage us to put out more video. Uh, if not, as usual, ciao.